And what's going on guys, Gaston right here, back at it again with another video. Let's talk about the Sony A7C Mark II. And let's talk about the sensor because there are two rumors. Rumor number one is the one that everyone has seen or read on the internet. The Sony may use the same 33 megapixel sensor found in the Sony a7 IV. Now, one of our sources, which is the source that I've been sharing a lot of the info in the past, is saying that that rumor is wrong, that Sony actually is going to be introducing a brand new sensor in the Sony a7C, and that sensor is gonna be of lesser megapixel count, 24 to 26 megapixel. Now let's actually analyze version number one, 33 megapixel from the Sony a7 IV. We actually have to understand what happened when this camera was released. When the Mark I was released, the Sony a7 III was on the market for over three years. So yes, yeah, Sony wanted to offload all those you know, sensors and processors and repackage it on another body to make room for the Sony a7 IV. However, the Sony a7 IV has only been on the market for a year and a half, and it is a camera that now goes for $2,500. So I don't think the Sony is gonna wanna put all they got from the Sony a7 IV, the 33 megapixel uh, sensor and all the features and actually shave off $700 or $500. So rumor number two actually makes more sense in terms of what Sony actually does. Design a new sensor for this camera, a sensor that is gonna be more affordable for them to put in this body and keep the price off the camera at around $2,000 $2,100 because I don't think the camera is gonna be $1,800 like it was when this camera was released. All right, and this one is a good news for us photographer because if you know, the Sony a7C caps at one over 4,000 of a second. So the Mark II is going to have the proper one over 8,000 of a second and I never understood why Sony actually crippled this camera with a one over 4,000 when utilizing the same uh, technology from the Sony a7 III, which does one over 8,000 of a second. So let's address the elephant in the room, and that is going to be the electronic viewfinder, because when it comes to that, Sony is gonna make no additional upgrade. We are gonna get exactly the same viewfinder with the same exact low quality and low refresh rate, guys. So, so sorry about that. I hope we're wrong, and Sony is gonna give us something a little bit better of higher quality, but I don't think they're gonna try to do that so they don't jeopardize the sales over the Sony a7 IV. And finally, Sony is gonna be updating the IBIS in this camera to something that we can actually enjoy. So we have seen Sony putting the same IBIS on all the latest camera with the improved image stabilization and the active IS, you know, giving you up to seven stop of image stabilization. Now, one thing that we're not gonna see here is the uh, dynamic IS, which actually, crops in a little bit more and it renders almost like gimbal performance. Now, the reason why we're not gonna see that in this camera is because it is said that Sony is gonna wanna keep that feature particularly for the CV line, the vlogging line, so they don't wanna give us all the good stuff in every single camera. All right, let's talk about video specs because what it is this day talking about photography camera if we don't talk about video, right? It wouldn't be a photography camera anymore. So Sony is going to be um, adding to this camera 4K up to 60p, 10 bit, 4 to 2. We're not gonna have 120 frames per second and I think that that is due to the body size and heat limitations. However, we may have a Cinetone and potentially the three different flavors that we have seen in the Sony ZV-E1. Now let's talk about the screen because Sony finally is going to be upgrading this poor display that the Mark I has for the one that we have in the Sony FX30, which is the 2.36 million dots of resolution with touchscreen functionality, and of course, all those brand new menus. One of the things that all of us owners of Sony A7C regretted is that Sony didn't put the brand new menus and omitted the touch functionality. So this version is going to accomplish that dream. And let's talk about the SD card slot because this camera has only one and the version two is also gonna have one, but it is said that it may be upgraded to CF Express Type A compatibility so you can use SD and CF Express. So that's actually a good add-on. However, I don't think I am going to go for CF Express Type B, but it's better having than not to have it. And this one makes me really happy because it is said the Sony is going to be adding the front dial to the new Sony A7C Mark II 
And that is something that they should have done from the very beginning, but if Sony goes that route, most likely the exposure compensation is also gonna be a configurable dial. So we're gonna have three proper dials, the one in the back, the one in the front, and if you can figure this one to control aperture, shutter speed, and ISO, and that's gonna make us very happy. Now this one is a personal wish. I wish Sony would add more buttons in this camera, and let me show you. For example, we can add an additional button right there, and my top wish is a joystick. I don't know if we can have a joystick somewhere, but probably, maybe there, I don't know. I mean, it's too close to this uh, thumb rest, but if they could do that, Sony, if you're watching this video and you have time, to make those changes, please do so. Let's talk about pricing, guys, because that one is going to be a tough one. When Sony released the Mark I, this camera was at $1,800. Now, there was a difference from back then to now. The Sony 7 III has been around for a long time and Sony needed to offload that older technology to make room for the new Sony a7 IV, thus creating this camera for $1,800. Now, I don't think this camera is gonna be $1,800 and most likely it is going to be $2,000 or above $2,000. It could well be $2,100, $2,200, $2,300 if you ask me, but I think the price is gonna be around $2,100. Remember, this camera is gonna be featuring a lot of the new technology, the new image stabilization, all the new video codecs, the brand new screen, and of course, potentially a brand new sensor, whether it is the 2426 or the 33 from the Sony a7 IV. Definitely, if the sensor is from the Sony a7 IV, most likely the camera is going to be above $2,000, you know, the $2,100. Now, let me know what you think about that one, you know, tough one, but most likely that's what's gonna happen. So are you as excited as I am for the Sony a7C Mark II? I actually own two, like I mentioned before, and this camera has been so great from the beginning. I've taken to so many countries. I travel with the camera everywhere. I take it with me in my backpack, and it's such a portable, powerful camera, even as it is with some of the limitations that I mentioned before. Now, having all the newer technology, I can see this camera being super powerful, and the only caveat is going to be the price. If Sony decides to go above $2,000, I think a lot of people are going to have a little bit of a problem with it. But if they manage to keep the price below $2,000, this camera could make Sony a lot of money and make a lot of people happy. So let me know what you think about the upcoming Sony a7C Mark II. What are the other features that you would like to see in this camera? Comment below. And until then, guys, I will see you in the next video.